it's Konami. I am welcome back to iPop. So today I'm going to be opening, trying on, and reviewing the SR Hu Tao cosplay from Doki Doki Cosplays on AliExpress. So let's start with a little background about this costume. Back when Genshin Impact was running the Hu Tao banner, I was one of the lucky ones who is able to snag this amazing five-star character. So I threw up this Twitter poll, and wouldn't you know it, the people had spoken. I mean, I was going to do it anyway. So. so because I'm somebody who usually makes my own costumes, I started to factor in what it would take to get the costume made, the materials, the time, and the money. Let's just say it didn't add up in my favor very well. For one, the materials would have been extremely expensive, and two, because Genshin has such intricate and amazing designs for their characters, that is well above my costume making level. So I decided to look at other avenues. I want to take a second to pause here. Whether you buy a costume or you make a costume, it should never matter. If you like a design or you love a character and you want to cosplay, you should. Cosplay is literally for everyone and no one should be judging you. Unless you're in a cosplay competition, then you're probably going to get judged. Good luck! So after a ton of research on the internet, I came upon the Doki Doki store on AliExpress and decided to give them a look. As a side note, when looking for costumes online, you might end up on sites like Taobao, Shopee, or AliExpress, and you might see a ton of different shops selling exactly the same thing as another shop. Chinese distributors having big warehouses that ship tons and tons of cosplays to these smaller different stores, and those stores sell them to you. So if you see the similar item or if you see similar pictures between two shops, that's why. The other thing is that there might be two similar pictures from two different stores and they might have completely different things. So please be aware of that and definitely check the reviews to make sure that the item that you're buying is the item that you're getting. It's kind of a gamble when there's no reviews, but that's what videos like this are for. Because Doki Doki Cosplay had a good reputation even before I bought my costume, and they seem to have the biggest selection, maybe they had a distributor that sent them out first, or maybe they are their own distributor. I decided to go with them. I ordered this costume on April 17th, 2021, and I just received it a couple days ago. And today is September 21st. Even though that's five month waiting period, I wanna let you guys know that even back in April when I ordered this costume, it was a pre-order, which means none of the costumes had been made yet and none of them would be shipping out anytime soon. But due to the pandemic, a lot of the orders and a lot of the production was pushed way, way back. So that's why I'm just getting it now. One thing I am a little bit worried about because of the time that it took to get to me is when I make a costume, I make it to my specific measurements right then and there. And because of the time it took to get to me, I ordered it pre-pandemic. During the pandemic was a time where I wasn't very active. I might have eaten a lot and my weight tends to fluctuate kind of a lot. So my biggest fear today is we're going to get through this whole thing and it's not going to fit. So fingers crossed that um, that doesn't happen. I paid $126.88 for this costume, so hopefully it's worth it. Doki Doki Cosplay categorizes their costumes in three separate categories based on quality and on price. And kind of like a gotcha poll, they named them R, SR, and SSR. Some of the costumes do come in ranges of R, SR, and SSR, but some of the costumes only come in SSR or some of them in SR. I've seen pictures and videos of people who have bought just the R version of some of these costumes, and they're still really, really amazing. I haven't seen an SR costume that looks bad, and in some cases, some of the Genshin characters only come in SR version, which Hu Tao is one of them. Okay, now that that is all out of the way, let's get to the review. So I received this big bag a few days ago, and it's already open, unfortunately, because my mom thought that it was for her, so she decided to open it, and I did get a sneak peek at one of the items, so... While I have looked at it, I don't know what the rest looks like. So let's first take a look at the item that I had the sneak peek at and we'll go from there. So the first thing that came out of the bag when I saw it was this. It is the hat. Hu Tao's hat is amazing. And if this is an indication of the rest of the costume, I am super excited. It's made out of a faux leather, but let's look at the inside. It has a lining. 
which means that this is going to feel comfortable all day long. Also, on the inside, if you can tell, there is a hoop up here so that the top of the hat keeps its shape. On the side, there are these flowers. They're pretty run-of-the-mill fake flowers, but to be honest, for Hu Tao's hat, this is pretty spot on. They do have the bow on the back as well as the emblem and then the back itself. Now this is something that I thought was kind of weird, but also kind of cool at the same time. There's wire in the back. So this would be perfect for like movement shots if you're taking photos to make it look like the wind is blowing um, because it keeps its shape. Also, I want to talk about the embroidery detail on these guys. This just looks really nice, really nice clean lines. Those are big winners in my book. At the end, you have some really nice stitching and then this embroidery on the top as well as the button itself. It's just really nice and it adds a really clean touch. Kind of like when you press a seam before you sew it to make sure that it looks good. They're already winning me over with this hat. So they're doing a pretty good job so far. <laughs> okay, next up, uh, bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. Okay, so I think this is the accessories. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so here is what the accessories comes in. It comes in a bag. Guys, this is vacuum sealed. That is insane. Okay, let me get some scissors. Ooh. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so the first thing that we have to talk about is the vision. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. And it's made out of metal. I was not expecting that. I was really expecting not this. But look at this. Guys, it lights up. So it does take two watch batteries, which I just so happened to have, which was weird. But this is amazing. So when you want to attach it, you can either attach it with the loop on the top and the bottom if you want to sew it in, or they give you a pin on the back. So that's really awesome. This is such a nice touch and it's so high quality. I'm blown away already. Next up is her bow tassel. These are nice and intricately well made. There is a little bit of fraying, but let's be honest, this was sitting in a bag traveling from China and probably sat in a warehouse for a very long time. So I don't even care. <laughs> like this is so cool. Okay. So next up are these, um, when they were on the website, these were actually made out of fabric and now they're made out of metal. They upped their game and they didn't even charge extra for it. These attached to the ribbons at the top. And if you can't see on camera, I hope you can, it's almost like a black brown. It's just like a really good color match and it's so nice to hold. Oh my gosh. So we get three of those. Next up we have her bracelet. This reminds me of those Karma Bee bracelets that you would buy at like Claire's. I will say that out of all the accessories, this one is probably the most likely to break. So, um, let's not hope for that, but you know, just in case. <laughs> Next up, we have the bow. This is a tassel that actually like goes on her hair. So this looks really nice too. If you have a steamer, that would probably help a lot with a lot of the crinkle wrinkles that are going on. But honestly, these are really, these are really nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. I was wondering if they were going to add these and they did. So I'll be honest, this is kind of um, a, a game because all of Hu Tao's rings are available. However, I'm scared that they're not going to be standard sizes. The ring is really nice. So my fears have been realized by them even before I thought about it. And they are the type of jewelry that you can like adjust the sizes to. So this will be very interesting to like put these on. All right, here it is. And they have branded bags. So right here you can see it's Doki Doki and they have 
an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter, and a YouTube channel. Okay, quality, let's go. So when you open it up, they have this checklist that has all of the items that should be in your bag. We'll start from, oh my gosh, I, I just saw the jacket. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm so scared this isn't going to fit. I'm gonna be so upset. So here are the socks. They are just some standard socks. They feel kind of nice though, but they have her little flower on the side and they have an extra reinforced band so that they stay up. And then once again, can we take a look at this embroidery? Like, hello? I do see like one strip of red that goes through, but that's just nitpicking. This is honestly very high quality. So here is her undershirt. It has a hidden zipper on the back. Putian Delusion Animation. Interesting. So it's actually tagged. Interesting. I don't know what these QR codes go to, so use them at your own risk. But this is like a tagged item. So, um, okay, Miss Quality continues. So these are her shorts. They are super, super cute. They have a hidden zipper on the side. So in and out, easy, easy, peasy, peasy. They have these cute button details on the side and then the strip. And then there's elastic in the back just in case you need it. Now, Hu Tao's jacket looks a little more black than brown. And this is a little more brown than black. So I'm not really quite sure how I feel about that. But maybe my, my mind will change once I have this on. Okay, so here's the thing that is the biggest thing about Hotel, aside from maybe like her staff of Homa, the actual jacket. Also, Chinese sizes are different than American sizes. In China, I wear a size large, so um, that is the size that I got. So make sure that you pay attention to the sizes. Again, still a little worried that I might be an XL now, but you never know. Oh boy. Oh my. So here is the jacket. Here is where those pins are going to go. There's these fake frogs in the front, but they still look really nice. And then here is the applique on the arm. It's so shimmery and nice. And then this right here, this embroidery work on the back with the applique absolutely gorgeous and then at the bottom Hu Tao has this like cutout thing here and it is this shimmery gold fabric and if we pull this off we have a nice tassel there's also this embroidered piece on the front and these embroidered pieces on the side I want to let you guys know this is pretty hefty like it is a hefty girl but I really like that because it just shows that like they didn't skimp on the fabric or the quality. The design on the inside too, like it's actually printed on the fabric. I am so excited to put this on. So I will put this on and I will be right back. Oh my gosh, guys, I am living my full Hu Tao fantasy. I am the 77th director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Let's look at the costume. All right, so here is the vision. Here is the vision on, and here is the vision in darkness. It is so bright. Also, let's take another look at that printed fabric underneath. So gorgeous. And then the metal pieces that make up the side flowers and the center flower. Here is the tassel attached to the hat. And here is a closer look at those rings on. And the bracelet, of course. Because I didn't have it on in the video, here is the back bow and the vision in a different light. And here's how you get in. You actually have a snap at the top and you have a zipper on the side. And once that zipper is all zipped up, on the ornament itself, there is a piece of elastic that goes around this button right here. And once it's all done up, the ornament actually hides the button and it just looks really clean and seamless. Here is the tassels that are attached via a crab clasp, kind of like on a necklace, so that you can take it off to clean them or clean the costume. And the same exists on the inside of the hat, so it's easy peasy. 
And I just wanted to take one last good look at this hat. The attention to detail is so amazing. I might just wear the hat by itself because it just looks so cute. Overall, this costume is exactly what I was looking for and more. Kudos to Doki Doki Cosplay. I feel like Hu Tao. Now I just need that stupid staff of Homa. Okay, so what do I think of this costume? Was it worth $126.88? Abso-freaking-lutely. Honestly, I was not expecting this high of quality for that much money. And if this is the SR, I am so, so interested to see what the SSR versions of costumes are. I was really concerned of whether or not I would be able to fit into this costume, but because of the stretchy-ish material that they use, um, there is a little bit of give, uh, especially in the stomach area. <sighs> I'm over the moon. I feel like Hu Tao, and I think that's like the best feeling in the world when you get to put on a costume and you feel like the person. And who knows? Maybe there's another character or two or three that I have in mind that I'd like to cosplay. So um, stay tuned for those reviews as well. So I realized something, Hu Tao's costume is not actually black. I went and looked at a screenshot, and if you look at her screenshot during the day, her outfit is actually a very, very, very dark brown. And although it kind of shows a little chocolate on the camera, it is actually a very dark brown. So it matches perfectly, so that fear is put to rest. All right, guys, so what did you think? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you don't, you can give it a thumbs down or you can leave. As always, if you'd like, you can leave your questions, comments, or feels in the comments box below, and please be nice with the comments you see even if you disagree, and the best way to defeat someone who's rude or is trolling is to just ignore them and keep on scrolling. As always, you can find me on all of my social medias here at my name, Konami underscore I, that's A-I, or you can click the link tree in the description box below. And if you'd like to see more videos from iPop, be sure to find and hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell icon to keep up to date on all things iPop. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And until next time, this is Konami I saying thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Da cho cho bing le ai cho cho chao. Zan cho cho zai ao zi cho cho ao. Ooh.